so here we want to finish adding these assets here the asset uh, folder so what I will do is simply copy all this up to the part where there's a slash CSS and then copy that and then all I need to do is look for where there's href so I'll copy this href is equal to uh, paste it there uh, press ctrl f to find so that I can keep finding like so so once I find it like here before the uh, this section here or just after there I'm, I will paste like so So there's a couple more here. So href, href, inside, inside here. Paste there, paste as well. So this href doesn't count. These ones do not count their links. We are going to deal with them uh, soon enough. And so what I'm looking for now is images. Actually, let's search for source. Source is equal to Okay, so let me find all of these. Source is equal to, and then I will move my, uh, I'll use my right arrow key to move two steps in and then paste. Okay, because I know that every image has source there so that if I refresh now, I should have my images back like so. Okay, so it seems if I'm not mistaken, everything is well and good. But in order to, because the header at the top here will be on every single page on our website. So it's a good idea to separate it from everything else. So what I will do is go back in here and inside assets eShop, right in here where they are, the files are, the HTML, oh, actually the HTML files are not here. The inside views, eShop. Okay, right there, I'll right click and create a new file. I will call this one header.php. And then I will have another one called footer.php. So the idea is that we want to separate the header and the footer so that as it stands right now, if I change the link to the home page, it won't change on the whole website. I would have to go to every single page and change that as well. And that is not conducive. So it's better we have a header and a footer that is separate. So go back to the index.php page and then make sure I have everything header, middle. I'll go down here up to line 100. Oh, actually it goes even further up to line 145 and then cut everything from here because everything above this is a header. So I will cut this out and then paste it in the header. Save, save on the other side. And then the same thing, I will go down here to where the footer is. Now this includes the body and HTML tag so I will move upward here until I find the end of the footer there, right there. So cut that out, go to footer and paste. Great. Now, if I go back to my page, of course, I won't see any CSS anymore because it's all in the header. So what I will do now is go to my header, actually go to index.php here. So when I reach here, I want to include my uh, footer at the bottom here. So I will do the PHP tags like this. But instead of doing, um, what's this? Instead of doing an include, keep in mind that we are still, all this is happening inside the home class. Inside the home class, there's this function here, which is doing the viewing. So all the content is inside this function. So we can still use this function core right here because we are still in the same class. So let me come back here and do the same thing. And I'm going to say this view, and then I'm going to tell it what view to show. So here I want to show the footer. 
then I can close my PHP tags like so. Let me copy this and then go up here again to the very top. And at the top here, I will put that one and say header. So let's come back here and refresh. And as you can see, everything is back to normal. Okay, very, very good. Now keep in mind that uh, we can send data to this header through the home controller by just putting something here and saying data like that, an array of data, we can do that. And the reason we can do this is because if you go to the main controller, which is inside the core, you will see that this function view contains an extra parameter here for data. So this is why, since we are extending controller, we can make use of that. So like here, for example, I can copy this and say something like, um, I could do this and say uh, page title is equal to home. So maybe I can put a capital H there. So once I do this, then I assign it there, then I will have that information I need when I need it. So in here, like uh, in index.php at this point, inside the header, I can still pass that data again, like so. So that when I go to the header, where there is a title like home here, I want it to be dynamic because this page is going to be the same page we're retrieving for every single other page. So it's better, it's dynamic. So here I'm going to say um, PHP and I'm going to echo data page title. Title. I think that's about it. Then close the tags. Okay, so let's see if that actually worked. So here we have home eShopper. So let's see if nothing changes and you can see nothing changes. So just to show you that uh, there's something actually going on here, I can put home two at the end there and refresh. You see that there's a two there now. That means it's actually working. Okay, so for since every page has a different controller, we can supply the page name right there and every other information that we need. For example, if you read data from the database, you will put it inside data for retrieving inside the page. All right, so this is how we include our header and footer. I'll see you in the next video where we create the login and sign up pages.